Hello again, Izzy from Digital Gojo Showrooms. And today we're gonna to take a look at the new Altura Photo mirrorless camera bag. Now it's not gonna hold all this gear, but I'll show you that it does accommodate whatever mirrorless camera or bridge cameras we wanna take along with us. If this video helps you out, remember to hit us up with a like button underneath. And as always, subscribe to our channel for future sessions, tutorials, and unboxings such as this. And when in Miami, visit Digital Gojo Showrooms. Well, this guy is the perfect size to take all your mirrorless or even small DSLR gear with you. It has a reinforced fabric. Notice how you have dual zippers so that you can access your equipment nice and safely. That way it pulls away from you. You have pockets on the outside, one on each side. Again, zippered. And then you have one main accessory pocket in the front with padding so that if you want to put some other equipment in here, like for example, especially mirrorless, you can put some really small mirrorless lenses up in the front. I'll use a perfect example. I have a really nice small prime here, which can actually fit in this section right here. Notice how they give you the uh, the elastic band area and you have the added benefit of a pocket there with padding so close it up you have protection even if you are taking a pressure lens on the outside and of course you do have your strap which is adjustable and you also have your d-ring with a clip so it's easy to remove in a hurry and they reinforce the padded handle on the top so all in all very well put together and now let's take a look at how much we can fit in here we have plenty of room notice how they have the inside lined so it doesn't scratch any of your precious equipment and you have yet another pocket up here where they also gave you the the enclosure to protect against the zipper so that way when you close it up you're not going to scratch any of the camera gear that you put in there so your camera gear moves around. You want to keep it nice and secure with the divider, which can be removed altogether. But if you're taking smaller equipment, like some of these smaller mirrorlesses, you have enough room there so you can actually take an additional lens. And of course, you have your exterior pockets for your filter kits, your cleaning supplies. And if I also want to, I can fit on the top here, in this section, I can put my accessory holder for my additional memory cards and extra batteries. So all in all, plenty of room. Oh, can't forget my charger. Let me add that in there. And if I choose to, I can even take my nice portable mini tripod with me so that I can do some longer exposure shots and let's say for example you're not into the mirrorless market and you're working with something as simple as what they call a bridge camera in today's world well you have room for that too I can fit my SX60HS in here let me move this around again that's the beauty of velcro I can adjust it to my liking I usually like to pull the camera out this way so I can now readjust this and again take more accessories with me, close it up and again take advantage of the dual zipper because this way when you're wearing it you can open it away and it keeps prying eyes from taking a look at your precious equipment. And if again you still are not in the mirrorless craze and you happen to have a smaller DSLR, here I have a very popular Canon T6. Move this around. Again, the beauty of Velcro. You can either take it out completely or readjust it to give you the added protection. And voila, you still have the capability of taking your DSLR with you. Let's measure the size of the Altura Photo mirrorless bag. The length externally is 9.6 inches. The height is 6.1 inches 
and the width is 5.9 inches and then the internal measurements are different it's 7.5 by 5 by 5.75 what do all these numbers mean well these numbers mean that you can fit of course mirrorless cameras but you can also fit small DSLRs like the D3200 and other ones in that series with a small lens this one happens to have a 50 millimeter and notice how you still have room for something else plus don't forget that the top is very well padded and made out of a very decent material so that it protects your camera when you have even something as a smaller DSLR in here. So you do have the added protection of the top in case something falls on it. So notice how I'm a tall guy, so you can adjust this to your height. I had to adjust it all the way because not only am I tall, but I'm big. And you want to wear it this way because you want to use, take advantage of the dual zipper so that when you open it up, prying eyes aren't seeing the equipment you have in here. You take out your camera, shoot, 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 and place it back in here. And that way you can either just close the flap or you can flip it over and zip it back up again. Now this is just hanging on the side. I usually like to put it across my shoulder. This gives me a sense of stability. To me it's a lot more stable to carry. And again, you still have the capability of using the zipper design. I like to open up just one side so I can just pull out the camera, fire away, and slip it back in here. So, the Altura Photo mirrorless photo bag. Take a look at it. This is definitely going to help you out to take all your gear with you. Happy shooting!